A captain who transformed his cricket. A captain whose cricket warfare has never been a matter of hatred, jingoism, and senseless aggression. A captain who had a clear understanding of the opposition's strengths and weaknesses, and an equally uncluttered understanding of the strengths and weaknesses of his own side. Well, that's four more, so that's a nice way to start the over. Oh, he's hit that beautifully. Oh, he's murdered that one. That has gone like a rocket. Wide outside the off stump. Stephen Roger Waugh, born on June the 2nd, 1965, in Canterbury, New South Wales, Australia. An Australian cricketer who set the record for most international test appearances, a total of 168, and who, with his twin brother, Mark, helped lead the resurgence of the Australian national team in the late 20th century. Steve Waugh's journey to the summit of Australian cricket began at the Bankstown Cricket Club in West Sydney when the Waugh brothers were playing in the under-10 competition. Steve flew through the junior systems and began playing at the state level at the age of 19. Steve Waugh made his debut at the age of 20 against India in 1985. Stephen Waugh playing in his first test match. A very talented young man, he'll need all that talent here today. He was a key member of Australia's 1987 Cricket World Cup winning team. But his true breakthrough came in England in 1989 when he made 177 not out and 152 not out in the first two tests and finished the series with an average of 126. A series of epic innings ensued, none better than his 200 in Jamaica in 1994 to speed Australia to an historic series win for his twin hundreds at Old Trafford to turn the 1997 Ashes series. That's a very good innings from Stephen War. I reckon that's going to go down as one of his best. He's uh, made the century. It was not until the tour to the West Indies in 1995 that War fully matured into the complete test batsman and was considered one of the greatest batsmen in the world. This is back. The again. His 200 against a strong West Indian attack answered the critics who had consistently questioned his technique against short pitched bowling. Against England in 1997, he became only the third Australian to score two centuries in the same test. First player to score a century both innings of an Ashes Test match is 1947. That was Arthur Morris and Dennis. He succeeded Mark Taylor as Test Captain in 1999 and began with a torrid 2 2 draw in the Caribbean, but later led Australia boldly in 15 of the world record 16 successive Test victories. With Shane Warne, he turned Australia's form around so completely in the 1999 World Cup that they won it and he became the first Australian to win the trophy twice. But he was denied the opportunity to defend his title when he was unceremoniously axed from the one day side, like Taylor before him, following Australia's poor showing in the 2001-2002 BB series. He railed against his omission, but even he couldn't reverse it. At 36, he won the Allen Border Medal as Australia's best player of 2001. The winner of the Allen Border Medal for the year 2001. The winner is Steve Waugh. In 2002, he was removed from Australia's ODI team but remained the captain of the Test squad, which won the Ashes in 2002-2003. Steve Waugh continued as the Australian Test captain, though winning yet another Ashes series in 2002-2003 and continuing for the West Indian tour that followed Australia's 2003 World Cup win under Ricky Ponting. An inveterate sightseer, Waugh wrote a series of successful tour diaries, helped set up a charity for the Daughters of Lepers in Calcutta and described fervently to the power of the mind. Here he comes for the last time as captain of Australia. 
have finally retired at the end of 2003-2004 series against England. Bowling out with 80, his last shot, an untypical heave to back of square leg. I'm sort of relaxing too in the last test match because you think, you know, the scrutiny sort of off now, you know, made that decision, this is my last test match, I don't have too much to prove. Um, Steve Waugh on 49. He sweeps and brings it up with a boundary. 50 test match 50s for Steve Waugh. Chance in the outfield, and it's been taken. So Steve War is gone, but he's gone down trying to score a century. Sort of mixed emotions too. You're, you're almost relieved in some ways that the pressure is no longer going to be there. You're not playing Test match cricket, but you're also disappointed that you're not going to have that adrenaline rush and you're not going to walk out in the field playing for Australia again. Some of the highlights of Steve War's career are as follows: his autobiography. Out of My Comfort Zone was published in 2005. He is one of only 11 players to have scored over 10,000 test runs, led Australia to 15 of their record 16 consecutive test wins and to victory in the 1999 Cricket World Cup. Steve Waugh played 168 tests and 325 one-day internationals. Steve Waugh was considered the number one batsman in the world for 94 consecutive tests. Steve Waugh is the only batsman to score 150 against each test playing nation. He holds the captaincy record in both forms of the game. Steve Waugh was honoured with the Western Australian Cricketer of the Year 2000-2001 trophy. He was also awarded the Order of Australia in 2003, the Australian of the Year in 2004, the Father of the Year in 2005. He was also inducted into the ICC Hall of Fame in 2009. All in all, Steve Waugh was an excellent test batsman and one of the best captains that Australia has ever got.